Hey y'all, it's Jess. So last week I got a question on my unmasking video and it said, if I have been good at masking or copying others my whole life in order to not stand out, how can I know if I'm inadvertently copying autistic behaviors as opposed to just being my authentic self? If I'm an expert copier and I may not have not always been aware of copying, however most of my adult life has been based on explicitly shaping my behaviors and presentation, how can I be sure I'm not just putting on a different autistic mask when I begin the process of unmasking? So this is a really good question and I want to start off by saying when you get diagnosed or you start unmasking realizing that um, the autistic behaviors that you've been suppressing have been hurting you and you want to find your new sense of self. It's easy to fall back into masking behaviors where you're not masking as neurotypicals now, but now you're masking as other autistic persona that is not really you. So the downside of realizing, oh, I don't have to pretend to be neurotypical anymore is you're presented with so many options of what you can take on as autistic behavior. There are a lot of autistic behaviors to choose from when you're unmasking from trying to be neurotypical because not everyone has the same set of behaviors. The number one thing I would say to you is, first off, masking is subconscious behaviors. Like, they're subconscious responses to what's going on around you. So recognizing what it is that you're doing and being mindful of how you're moving, what you're saying, what, you, what you're doing, if you enjoy it or not, if you really feel like it's you and it's helping you, just being mindful of that, you're recognizing the subconscious behaviors and so turning them into conscious behaviors. When you're conscious of your behaviors, then it makes it a lot easier for you to analyze what you're doing, why you're doing it, how it affects you, if it's impacting you in a good way or a bad way, if it's really you or not. This is what I mean by the concept of your autistic identity, uh, finding authentic behaviors. So when you find authentic autistic behaviors, it is much easier to develop a sense of self. I want to ask you, where does your sense of self come from? Does it come from who you hang out with, what you do, the movies and books and music that you like? Is it what you wear, how you dress? Um, all of those things. My sense of self personally comes from what I believe, what I do, what I enjoy doing, and what I allow into my life. And when I realize that I've allowed these things into my life and it's having a positive impact on me, then I realize that, okay, those are authentic behaviors. There's different steps of things that I think that you should take to figure out what are your authentic autistic behaviors. So the first step would be asking yourself, do you enjoy it? Do you genuinely enjoy playing with slime? Do you genuinely enjoy not scripting in conversations? and with certain people and asking why you enjoy it. Do you enjoy it because you saw someone else doing it and so you want to be like them or do you enjoy it because it genuinely feels nice? You actually feel like you're spend taking time for yourself. The next step is asking is it helping you? If something, if you're doing it something and it ends up hurting you in the long run, it's probably best to stay away from it. Um, this is why masking is so uh, easy, because you're just thinking of what helps you get through stuff at the moment, but in unmasking you have to realize what it is that is having an impact on you in the long run, and avoiding that, even if it makes things kind of easier at the time. You probably do have some authentic behaviors that you know are really you. So try and compare and contrast those to other behaviors that you're exhibiting. If you're trying too hard to present this certain way or to do this certain thing because you think it's autistic and you, like it's good that you're open to it, but if, it's, if you're trying so hard to do it, then it's probably not authentic. I hope I've helped a little bit and that I wasn't too muddled. I, I, sometimes I think I'm being clear and then I'm not actually getting my point across. So uh, make sure to let me know if you want me to do a follow-up video with this because I'll definitely, I can talk about more and uh, with examples if you want, if that would be easier, so. In closing, um, my book is gonna be uh, available to buy at the end of the week, I think. 
So uh, stay updated with that on my website. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.